Welcome back YouTube, DB Squonks here with another juice review. Today we are talking about its Pixie line from Shijin Vapor, sent directly over by Shijin Vapor for the purpose of the review. No, it's not going to change my opinion. You guys know how it works. Fresh cotton, fresh juice. Haven't tried it before. I'll give you guys my thoughts. Before I try the juice though, Make sure you guys check out the advocacy links in the description below. Make sure you guys take part in those links, please. That way we can continue to vape flavors like this and not have to switch to tobacco and menthol flavors. With that said, we'll jump right into it. The, these flavors are all 70-30 VGPG. They can all be in 0, 3, or 6 milligram. On Shijin Vapor's website, they are $27.99 for a 100 ml bottle. The first flavor of the line that we're going to try is the cucumber watermelon or watermelon cucumber. Um, the flavor profile says watermelon with a refreshing hint of cucumber. There is a total of technically three flavors in this line, but there is six because they all the three flavors have ice flavors as well. I am going to try all six today, um, but the first one is going to be the watermelon cucumber. So, let's open this up. Watermelon cucumber. If the camera will focus, probably won't. There we go. Cucumber watermelon. Watermelon cucumber. Same difference. Man, these bottles are a little stiff to open. But again, guys, fresh cotton. This is the Warrior, by the way. Again, cucumber watermelon. Saturate this cotton. And also, just to let you guys know, I will be at NVE in Connecticut, uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend, I believe is when it is. The 16th and the 17th of March. And today has not been my day. I'm just having one of those days where nothing's going right, but whatever. So here we go. On the nose. I only get the watermelon smell. I don't smell any cucumber really. I got a little bit on my hand. A little bit on the mod, but that's all right. That's different. I'm not a watermelon. Normally, I don't. I mean, I like watermelon vapes, but I can't vape them all day. Um, it's just one of the flavors that I'll vape from time to time. But this is definitely different. It's not like overpowering on the watermelon. It's uh, it's actually refreshing. You get a little bit of cucumber on the exhale, but again, that's not overpowering either. It's not like biting into a cucumber or something like that. It's just there. It's not um, it's not overpowering. But here is the um, same flavor, chilled or iced, whatever you guys want to call it. And you guys know me, I'm not a huge menthol or ice fan. Um, unless I'm sick, that's basically the only time I vape anything iced or menthol. Their previous lines, I have tried, uh, well, not all of them, but 
one of the previous lines, the Bora line that I tried from them, um, the Raspberry Ice um, was overpowering to me on the menthol, but we'll see how this goes. This is, again, let's see if my camera will focus here. Cucumber, watermelon, chilled. Same thing. I'm just going to drip right down the drip tip. It's the same flavor. Really no need to change cotton. I don't smell a whole lot of menthol, but let's give it a go. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely chilled, but this line is not, this isn't overpowering on the menthol like uh, the Bora line was. That's a more... Uh, what I want to say, it's more of a, um, more, again, more of a chilled instead of a menthol. So it's not like ice, but it's just, you know, it's not bad. I could definitely, something I could definitely vape, and I'm not a menthol vapor, so. But for sure, I'll be vaping the one that's not chilled, for sure. It's a flavor that my wife will love because she is a all-day watermelon vapor. Um, she's a watermelon dragon fruit person, so that will be right up her alley. Again, all these flavors, guys, are $27.99 on their website on shijinvapor.com. I'm going to go ahead and change RDAs and jump into the next flavor. The next flavor to me, um, seems a little different. Um, of course the cucumber watermelon I've never seen done before either, but, um, this next flavor is mango lime again it's pixie mango lime and this one says it is a mango and lime mixed together with a smooth candy finish so we'll give this one a go and you guys know as well I'm not a mango fan. Um, to me, mangoes smell like dirty socks or dirty gym bags, whatever you want to call it. But just my opinion. Again, here's the bottle for you guys. Mango lime. It's a pixie. Mango lime. Fresh cotton on the drop. Probably turn this down a little bit because I don't know what the. I'm making a mess over here. That's why I love my squonk mods. But whatever. It's just a lot easier to test juices on RDAs than what it is to have to change bottles and all that other good stuff. So, actually, this one doesn't smell bad. It's not horrible. Like some mango juices I've tried. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell like dirty feet. Here we go.
That is by far the best mango flavor I've ever had. Definitely the best mango. And I, like I said, I hate mango, but this is by far the best one I've ever had. Probably because it's mixed with the lime. So you kind of get a little bit of sourness, but... Plus the candy, so... Definitely the best, by far, mango vape I've ever had. I know people that love mango vapes, but I'm not one of them. But that would be a mango I can vape. And then also the mango lime chilled. See how this one goes. Again, mango lime. Camera will focus. Man, I need to upgrade my camera. The autofocus on this isn't the best. I have the C920, but autofocus is not the best. Again, chill version of the mango line. Again, you don't smell the menthol. Now that one, the menthol's strong, or the chill, or whatever you guys want to call it. Menthol, culotta, chill, ice, all the same thing to me. That is a little overpowering to me on the, the chill or the ice, whatever you guys want to call it. I can see myself vaping the non-chilled version, but as far as the chilled version of the mango line, I'm sure it's for somebody, it's just not for me. And then the third flavor, which I'm sure I'm going to like, because I'm a fruits and candies guy, so the last flavor is going to be a sour green apple. And the flavor profile is sour green apple candy. I don't know if they got the, the it's pixie like trying to be like uh, like just you know with all the candies like if they're referring to the like pixie stick candy or whatnot. But you can definitely taste the candy in these uh, flavors. This we're going to use the rebirth. Fresh cotton. Then here's the bottle for the sour green apple. Again, sour green apple. And again, I'm making a mess. It smells just like you would think it would smell. It smells reminds me of a uh, Jolly Rancher almost on the smell.
And of course they have the same thing in chilled, but here we go. Again, not overpowering on the apple. Um, it's not as sour as I kind of was hoping for. I like sour vapes. Um, but it's a good combination of both. A good combination of sour and candy. It's not overpowering on the apple, so it doesn't taste like apple juice. It's just... Um, kind of trying to think of what candy it reminds me of. It's not as sour as a Jolly Rancher. Kind of reminds me of a Nalum later. That's what it kind of reminds me of. The, uh, Green Apple Nalum later. Or a candy of that nature, like a soft chew candy that's apple flavored. That's what it reminds me of. But of course, wouldn't be complete without trying the chilled version. Same thing, you don't smell the menthol or the chill or culotta, whatever you guys want to call it. Again, this is the chilled version of the sour green apple. I kind of, that's not overpowering on the chill either. So just the, uh, the mango lime was overpowering. This is not overpowering on the chill either. Kind of reminds you of like, like brushing your teeth and biting into an apple or eating a breath mint and biting into an apple. It's not bad though. But the sour apple is by far my favorite. Um, I'll definitely be vaping the, the sour apple and the watermelon lime for, or the uh, watermelon cucumber, I'm sorry. Watermelon cucumber for sure. Um, I'll probably even vape the mango lime. Um, but again, another great line from Shijin Vapor, a little bit of something for everybody, um, if you're into fruits and candies, um, no dessert flavors in this line, but pretty much just fruit and candy flavors, uh, so definitely a perfect line for anybody that likes those types of vapes, so if you guys have not subscribed, please do so, and make sure you click the bell to get notifications when my next video goes live, uh, Again, guys, you guys know how it works. I don't care if you're vaping on some hand-me-down device or something you spend a lot of money on, as long as you're not smoking. So until next time, guys, vape safe and keep it cloudy.